Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about a scenario in Data Factory using Dataflow activity where we have the input data set and we want in the output two different data sets having the even uh, data, I mean the rows which are present at the even position and odd data set, the rows or the data present at the odd positions. That means on the basis of this row number assigned to the incoming data, we will segregate it into even and odd. Let's go to the data factory. Here is the input data set where we have the student ID and the total marks column. Same as we have shown here in the Excel sheet. Okay. And we have to work with this data in the data factory. So let's create a new pipeline. Let's name it as even odd. Let's take the data flow and name it as data flow even odd. Now we'll connect to the data source which is already there in the Gen2 storage account. So we'll connect to the data set is Gen2 delimited text. We'll name it as even odd input. Link service is already there. Then we'll go to the location. Test input folder. We have student IDs marks.csv. Click OK. First row is having header. Check that and click OK. Let's go to the data preview and here we'll click on refresh. Since the data flow debug is already enabled, we can see the data. So here we have the two columns, student ID and total marks added at the source level. Next job is to think about the logic. The logic to find the even and the odd position data is to first have the row numbers assigned to the incoming data so that once the row number is assigned, we can then fetch the even position and the odd position. So in order to assign the row number, we have the transformation called as surrogate key transformation in data factory data flow. So we'll add surrogate key which comes under the schema modifier section and this will help in assigning incremental row numbers to the incoming data set. Okay, so here it generates a new column. So in the surrogate key settings, we have the key column. We'll name it as let's say key code. Start value we can give and the step value. The step value is the number of increments okay so one is the start value it will start from one and it will be incremented one by one like one then two three four because the step value is given as one so this is the surrogate key setting we'll go to the data preview and click on refresh so we have got this new column key call added here and it has assigned row numbers to the incoming data set one to twenty okay now our next job is to find the even and the odd rows okay on the basis of this key column so our next job is to find the even and the odd row numbers and then we have to segregate so in order to split the data into even and odd we have a transformation called as conditional split okay so on the basis of the conditions it splits the incoming data so after the surrogate key we will add conditional split Okay, so conditional split is added. It will by default create two streams, one which we are going to provide the condition and the other one is the rows that do not meet any condition will go to this output stream. So this is whenever we create a new conditional split, it will create by default these two streams. So our requirement is to form even and the odd streams. So let's say for the first stream, we'll name the stream as even and for the other stream, means if the even data is extracted only will remain with the odd so we'll name the 
row that do not meet the condition specified for the even rows will go to the odd rows okay so we have defined the name of the streams next we'll go to the even and we'll give the condition we'll open the expression builder so how we'll implement the logic of finding the even is any number which is divided by 2 gives the remainder as 0 is called as even number and for finding out that we have the function in adf2 as mod function so let's write mod so it will show you in the intelligence mod let's click on and we'll click enter so it will ask you the first expression and the second expression and if you hover over mod it says any comma any equals to any okay what happens with the first and this expression the result okay so the first expression will be the key column which is coming from the surrogate key which is which has assigned the row numbers so we will click on key call if that key key call comma 2 okay that key column when divided by 2 if that is equals to it equates to okay, 0 then give me the result if it is equals to 0 that means the remainder is 0 when the key call is divided by 2 the remainder is 0 then the result will go into even so if we here at the bottom click on refresh for the data preview so we can see that in the output 1 is not considered 2 is considered 4 is considered 6 8 10 and so on multiples of 2 because the key column values when divided by 2 if gives remainder as 0 then that comes into this even category so we have satisfied the criteria for this even stream then odd stream rows that do not meet the condition will go to this odd stream that means remaining that is 1 3 5 like that so if let's say we have to explicitly give condition for odd first and even next so what we can do is we will give here mod key call comma 2 not equals to 0 so that will give us the odd and we can then take the even values into the second or the default stream okay so we'll go to the data preview so here in the data preview you can see that the even result has populated our next job is to attach it to sync so let's add sync and let's land it and let's add the data set as a SQL database table even SQL database create a new table let's name it as even data click OK okay next is odd in the odd one we will again attach a new sync and we'll take it to SQL database odd link service create a new table same DBO schema as odd data click OK and we'll go to the first sync we'll preview the data here and we can see all even rows appeared here we'll go to the odd sync so here comes the odd data now we have this extra key column right so we can add a select transformation here to get rid of this extra column so we'll remove it from here as well as from the second stream odd stream we will add select after the conditional split and we'll remove this key call so now if we go here and try to refresh we'll see only those two columns yeah we have got the result as expected so if we go here so all 10 rows are here okay so all 10 even rows are here as per the expected output so let's validate the mapping and go to the pipeline publish the changes and then perform a debug run so the debug run 
data flow is showing queued. Let's click on refresh and it's in progress. So our data flow succeeded. Let's go to the SQL database. So we'll try to look for the table even and odd data. The name was given as dbo.even data. So here is the table. Let's select the top rows. So here is the data and for odd, we have this table. For the odd two, we've got the, and for the odd two, we've got the result. So this is how we can easily segregate or split the data into even and odd. So thank you for watching the video. Happy learning to all. Bye.